um, suffered discrimination, uh, persecution. In Germany, they were uh, sent to uh, concentration camps, and in Romania, they were slaves. And um, my presentation will focus on specifically and um, how the indictment affected them in all the Briefly, let me explain who they are. Um, they um, come from India. Uh, they arrived to Europe uh, basically in the 11th and um, um, 10th century. Um, they moved to Europe uh, almost everywhere. And um, there is a popular belief at the, at the beginning in the 11th century that they were from Egypt because um, the word gypsy or gitano um, is from a gypsy and um, from Egypt, but it's, if they're not, they're from India. Um, by the way, the word gypsy has uh, a negative connotation, so I encourage you not to use it, at least not in Europe. Um, their native language is uh, Romani. Um, currently, they have more than 10 million people living in the UN, in the United Nations. And uh, most of them um, are in Romania and um, Bulgaria. Uh, uh, the Roma community is the largest, um, the U.S. largest ethnic minority. And um, in Romania and Bulgaria, there are 10% of the population. What happened with them was, was wrong with this community. So there is no doubt that nobody likes these people. And, uh, in, in, in the, unfortunately, there is a perception that was built for centuries that Roma were anti-Christian, that they were moved by satanic forces because they come from India, from Turkey. So they believe that they were not European. Also, the way they look, um, the dark um, skin were considered like evil. So there is, there is a perception, mistrust about the, the, the Roma people, unfortunately. So they also, there is a, a, a perception that they, don't, they live by Staying by begging, and, um, and it's a lack of opportunity, eh, what happened with them. Uh, in reality, everywhere they live in Europe, they, their social status is inferior, everywhere. Uh, four out of 10 uh, Roma in Romania live with $2 a day, and this is in Europe, according to the World Bank. Um, they live 15 years less than the European, population, they eat in ghettos uh, with little water or no electricity. Sometimes 10 people, 11 people sleep in one room. So they are segregated to the lowest um, regions in, in Europe. And um, their children, they don't attend regular school. They go to secondary school. And the reason is because most of them, they don't speak the local language. They don't speak Spanish or uh, German, they speak only Romani, which makes it harder for them to integrate. Lack of integration is the biggest issue for them. Um, enlargement, enlargement uh, the EU enlargement has been very um, mixed uh, for them, it has you know, advantages and disadvantages. Um, they are European, so they can enjoy all the rights that we enjoy. Europe, to move to any country, to establish uh, a business in any country, unfortunately, they can't do it because they don't have documents, they don't have legal documents, and the reason is because sometimes they don't have even a birth certificate, and uh, um, because they, don't, they have the babies at home, or if they have them in a hospital, they don't pay the bill, and they don't get that certificate, which make it harder for them to get a, um, a passport or ID that proves that they are European citizen. Um, they are protected by European citizens, by European law, uh, anti-discrimination, free movement, etc. But because they don't have documents, they don't, they can't prove they are, they are, that they can stay legally in any country. Um, so the bottom line is that this community has been stigmatized for many years, for many centuries, and they don't have opportunity because there is a will in, a, in Europe that they don't like these people. They don't, they don't, we don't want them in the community, which is unfortunately. 
it's unfortunate. Uh, and um, some of the, the um, Roma that have been able to get education, they don't say that they are Roma. Um, they don't say they are Roma, so they deny their identity, which is a shame in Europe. Okay, wonderful. Okay, well, thank you. Um, let me hand out, I think I need to hand out tape.